brother. brother! And welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are facing off to figure out who knows the most about ghosts in Harry Potter. I had like a string float in front of my face for a second there. Maybe it was a ghost. you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera and he is going to be reading us today's 15 questions plus four additional questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. And Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions completely from memory, unless we both agree we have just absolutely no idea and then Tyler can give us the multiple choice. And when it comes to ghosts, I would put ghosts, I would put the death day party right up there with like St. Mungo's chapter, and also the Quidditch World Cup when they arrive chapter four. Here are moments in the Harry Potter <coughs> series where there's an enormous amount of additional information that never comes back into play. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little worried about this one. I think it might be tough. If you want to play along, there's a link in the description down below. Question number one. What was the name of Gryffindor's house ghost? Okay, like the like his full name? What was his name, guys? Okay. It's, it can be tricky. <laughs> yeah. It can be tricky. It's good to know, I think that we're starting off on a, on a happy, happy beat here. Ready? I know. Three, two, one. Sir so Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Yeah, that. That is correct. Yeah. Huzzah. Points so. all around. I know, I was like, wait, do they want us to say nearly headless Nick or does it want de Mimsy Porpington? Was nearly headless Nick one of the available incorrect answers? It was not, but all of the other incorrect answers were nicknames, which I oh. thought was interesting. Oh. It was either like the Fat Friar, the Bloody Bear, and the Grey Lady, or Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Question two, how did Moaning Myrtle die? Uh, like, how specific do I need to be? I'm sure it's not that hard. Yeah, all right, yeah. ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Basilisk. Looked her in the eyes. I said she done looked at a basilisk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is she came face to face with a basilisk. So yeah. you both get a point there. Woo! I didn't think this was gonna go well, but here we are. This is another one of those details though that I think is interesting because, you listen with me? Yeah. Okay, so because she is the first, first Horcrux. Yeah. Right? Yes. Which means that it is not essential for you the creator of the Horcrux to have been the person who committed the kill. Right, like he just ordered the kill. Yes. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Which is interesting. That is. I think that means the Basilisk is an extension of Slytherin himself. I guess it helps that it's Salazar Slytherin snake, Basilisk. I guess. And he's the heir of Slytherin. Unless, it's, I, unless it's Slytherin think, him. No, I I'm, still don't think, it's still weird. It still doesn't track. The other thing is that Moaning Myrtle very noticeably wears glasses, and it's weird that like glasses don't deflect it into petrification, but like a, a camera, camera lens does. does. Yeah. Well, camera's yeah. a mirror. <clears throat> well, even so, you can see a reflection off glasses. There's there's something in between you and the monsters. It, it does feel like if everybody was just <clears throat> wearing sunglasses, they should have been fine. It's the tint. It's the tint that does tint. it. Question three. What was the name of the group Nearly Headless Nick wanted to join? Okay, 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 okay. I see why there's so many questions. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. The Headless Hunt. The Headless Hunt. The Headless Hunt indeed. Yeah, we right are now. doing good so far, I'm man. Don't get lulled it. into a false sense of security. Oh, it's already happened. I feel <laughs> like we're, this is, this is the day we both get all questions correct. I'm calling it. This is for a brownie point. Oh. Who does Hank Green write a song about in year one of Vlogbrothers? I know he writes a book about the release of the Deathly Hallows. No, 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 no. He wrote a song about this female celebrity. Luna Lovegood. Is Helen Hunt. Ah. 
Uh, that sounded like he Headless Hunt. Your husband's name was Hank, right? Well, my name is Hank to Helen Hunt. That was oh. so unrelated. Oh, ah, no. I don't know. I thought it was funny. I mean, whatever. <clears throat> okay. And now I thought it was a bit of a twister. Helen Hunt. Starring Hunt, Helen Hunt. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got, we got, it all comes back together. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> and now for we don't our first. Get cast away. <laughs> Is Helen Hunt in Castaway? She's the love interest. Is she really? Yeah, she marries Dr. Spaulding. Oh. <laughs> Where else? Is she also in You've Got Mail? Or? That's Meg Ryan. That's Meg Ryan. There's, there's Sleepless in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle and You've and Got Mail. Tom makes Meg Ryan. Yeah. It's a good thing this isn't uh, <laughs> Helen Hunt. <laughs> we'll tune in next week for Jay versus Ben Helen Hunt. And now for our first Patreon quiz master question of the game. To get your question in the quiz or to vote on questions for the quizzes, go to patreon.com slash Brothers and select the quiz master tier. This question was submitted by Zane E, Amber Nowak, Caden Medwid, and Maddie DeVuve and selected by patrons. Question, who is the leader of the Headless Hunt? Oh, oh. barnacle meat. It Wanna. is not Helen Hunt. <laughs> thank, thank you for eliminating that potential <laughs> option. This person's name is not Colonel Mustard. I told you this question was gonna be on the quiz, didn't I tell you? You did, yeah, you guessed this would be one of them. I did, I was like, ghost, you know it's gonna be the death day chapter, you know. You know, because, you, like, of it's course, it's like ghost. the whole chapter about ghosts. <clears throat> yeah, good thing we got one of those ever. You know what's crazy is that it's a Patreon question though, which means the ha the Wizarding World quiz didn't see this as an obvious question. That is sad. Yeah. That is sad. I don't think I know it. Ben Jam. Sure you do. It's in there. Go to your happy place. Think of the beach. Are you there? Your happy place is the beach? Is, I mean, I like being on the beach. Do you wanna know. know what my happy place is? Where? It is inside of a tent. Oh. And it's raining. That is a very happy place. It's a good one. It's a good one. When I'm stressed, <clears throat> I go there. Yeah. It's cozy. It's yeah. like the right temperature to be inside of a sleeping bag, which is rare. Cause it's almost always too hot to be inside of a sleeping bag. That's true. Or you always buy a sleeping bag. You're like, these are good for negative 20 degrees. <laughs> it's like, like, you go that's camping amazing. in summer. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I'm making up a name. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. It's a Patrick Delaney Podmore. Yeah, that sounds right. More right than Conrad Bellevue. <laughs> Conrad Bellevue. <laughs> it is indeed <laughs> Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. See, oh. I was trying to give you a hint. Yeah. Oh, Did you the get beach. the hint? I, I got the, the beach. Hint. I do get the hint! <laughs> oh! Before, before the quiz, I was like, they're gonna ask this question. And the way that I can remember it is, you had a friend named Patrick growing up and we used to go to the beach with someone named Delaney. Yeah. So I was trying to, I was trying to prompt that in your memory. Yeah. 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 Well, hmm. Golly go. Jeepers. And all Ben could think was, that's not my happy place. I was really thrown <laughs> off by that. Yeah, I was like, whose happy place is the beach? I bet a lot of people. I don't well, know if that's my happy place. What is your happy place? I don't, you know, I shouldn't have said that because I, I don't have like a go-to. A greenhouse? Yeah, a greenhouse? A greenhouse. That's, no, that sounds way too humid. It's not that. <laughs> well, yeah, I had to I'll think, think about it. Okay. Question four. What was the name of Hogwarts' only ghost teacher? Oh, okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. A teacher who is a ghost, not a teacher who teaches about ghosts. Seems Ready. like they could use that. <clears throat> Un, do, toi. Professor Bins. Professor Bins. Professor Bins is correct. I think his name is Cuthbert, right? Cuthbert. I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure that's right. Although I could be making it up. Who's to say? Ooh, question Guess five. <clears throat> who killed the gray lady? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. The Bloodford Baron. I think the, it's the Bloody Baron. Yeah. The, the yeah. Booty Blaren, that is correct. Bloody Baron. 
the, the booty blaring. The booty. Yeah, I, all the I can imagine blaring. now is like <laughs> this, like mid-century, like full armored suit lunge workout, like maybe with like pink spandex shorts on the outside. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's like ooh, ah, ooh. I'm just, no, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is a ghost that's like known for his like flatulence. It's like the booty <laughs> blaring. You know what I mean? No, oh, I got <laughs> you. I got you. I like mine better though. Okay. I like to think of exercise videos coming from the, the mid century. Sounds fun. They must have had some sort of workout regime. I think it was just um Farm. sword fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I assume... Your armor weighs 70 pounds. That's your workout. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's hard. Uh, question six. Select all that apply. Which of these ghosts were in attendance at nearly headless Nick's death day party? A. A court jester and his ghost rabbit. B. A ragged man in chains. C. A group of gloomy nuns. D. The wailing widow. And E. Hankerton Humble, former Hogwarts caretaker. Okay, I think I've got my answer, at the very least. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm taking a stab. I'm taking a stab too. <clears throat> I'll be frank with you guys. I don't remember. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I said B, C, and D. I said B, C, and D as well. Well, B, C, and D is correct. I want to know what happened that Simon, that killed the entire group of nuns. Right, and that like, all of the nuns collectively were like, "Oh, we're coming back. We're coming back." It's like, hey, because listen, listen, because you have to think nuns really believe in the afterlife. True. You know, like they are like a they are they are really abandoning their faith. So whatever killed them must have been like proof to them that it, that, that that like God didn't exist all at once. <laughs> all at once, it had to be real. Man, what happened to them nuns? That is a heavy way to go. Yes, that's why they're gloomy. I mean, they did spend their whole life. Yeah, you know basilisk. Do you time. think they ever? Do you think they spent most of their life trying to pay it forward? Did you do it again? <laughs> That movie is so sad. <laughs> is that Helen Hunt? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Fact check me, Riley. Come on. Okay. Next question, please. This next question is as good as it gets. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the second Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Wesley Walker and selected by patrons. Question. How does Professor Snape describe ghosts? How oh. does oh, oh oh okay this is um how does Professor Snape describe ghosts? How does he describe ghosts? I mean, uh, you have like a really long answer over there. Yeah, I don't know. This I'm just I'm going for it, Wesley. This was tough. Uh, hold on, Wesley. Let me <clears> see if I can't think down into my brain. I can only lift one of my <clears> eyebrows, <throat> but I can't really do it that well when I'm in the mirror. <laughs> You have to look at it. <laughs> it's like, which one's going up? Is that what you're doing while I'm writing? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, three, uh, two, one. So it's the, the imprint of a witch or wizard who chose to remain behind yes. and translucent. I Yes. I see. Imprint of a person who chose not to move on to death is what I put. Uh, yeah, and transparent. <laughs> As Mr. Weasley. Who says it? <laughs> say someone. Yeah. Uh, Seamus? Maybe it's Seamus. The word that I was hoping you guys would get is imprint, which oh. you both did get, but the correct answer, and I can't give you points, is the imprint of a departed soul left upon the earth. That, I think that's what we said. Mm. I feel, I feel. I feel like we got it. And we had trans. <laughs> I will give you the imprint of a point. <laughs> oh, <the imprint laughs> of a point. Mm. Ah, pretty good. Of Hilarious. a departed point. <laughs> it's just Professor Snape talking about how it ends, you know? The good news is... Is that a movie, <laughs> How It Ends? I've never even heard of that one. You've got an iPad. I do. <laughs> I, I, the thing is about that question is that I think that I agree we both got it right, but also we both got it right, so it's the same as both getting it wrong. That's true. It doesn't really change anything. It doesn't really change anything. Yeah. Kind of like a ghost's existence. Yeah. That wasn't a Helen Hunt reference, it was just another sentence. I'd say if Snape was a little bit better about knowing what women want, you know? <laughs> Maybe we're gonna reward in this whole situation. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> question seven. Where did the gray lady hide Ravenclaw's diadem? Okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. 
in a tree in an Albanian forest. Yeah, that's what I said too. Yeah. In a, I said in a hollow tree. In a hollow tree. In Albania, sure. but. Yeah. Interestingly enough, hollow was the word I was hoping for. I'll give you the point, Jay. It is inside a hollow tree. Okay, great. But not in Albania? Not in Albania. It seems like Albania is more important than hollow. Well, <laughs> if I knew about the word Albania, I would have thought that, but I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> I don't know who's writing these quizzes. <clears throat> yeah, they, they need, need help. help. They need to up their standards. Up the standards. Although, don't do it too much, because then I just get stressed. Question eight. What house was Moaning Myrtle in? Okay. Yeah. 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 Right? Three, two, one. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. She was actually in the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was in Ravenclaw. Nice. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of the bathhouse, I think it's oh, really no. just, you know, we're new. We're mm. new. Yeah. You got to, like, head to, the, head to the water closet. The loo. All right. Doing your civic wow, duty. Have fun. Hello and welcome everybody to the senior crew, where as always, you know we got to do it. Hide and Jace, honey, just one second. I'm actually really excited for this one because it's kind of a like hiding in plain sight type of situation, but I'm going to put it right there. Go and check out that episode of The Pop and see if you see it. What I also have to tell you about today's sponsor, and it's one of my favorites, Bespoke Post. First off, the great thing about Bespoke Post is that I have been a subscriber way before they ever sponsored this show, literally back in 2014, and I have the receipts to prove it. But in case you guys aren't familiar with the product, this is what it is. Bespoke Post curates a monthly box of awesome, putting together lots of really cool things for you to choose from and receive in the mail each month. But it's not just one box that you're required to get each month. They have a ton of different boxes to choose from, ranging from a ton of different interest categories. Now, one thing you might not know about me is that I love to split wood. It is remarkably cathartic and also just looks awesome in slow motion, which makes one of my favorite picks here recently from the Bespoke Post box collection called Split. It's like a really just gorgeous hatchet. But the other box that totally has my attention right now for next month is called Block. It's like a magnetic butcher block that you can store your knives in. And I just finished renovating my kitchen and I think it's going to look awesome in there. Wow, this is some really yellow lighting. But if you want to get started for yourself, you can do so by heading over to boxofawesome.com. They have a quiz over there where your answers help them decide which boxes might be best for you. And it's totally free to sign up and you can skip or cancel your subscription at any time. And you can also get 20% off your first box when you head on over to boxofawesome.com and use the code super at checkout. Again, it's going to be boxofawesome.com, promo code super for 20% off your first box. Link is in the description down below. And he's gone. All right, let's talk about cake. But more importantly, today's sponsor, DoorDash, but also more and more and more importantly, cake. I do love me some cake, you guys. But look, I'm sure we've all been there before. You're planning a big event. You're going to have friends over or family over for dinner. You go to the grocery store, you get all of your stuff and you get home and you realize... <laughs> Forgot the cake. Actually, sorry, it says here I'm supposed to say secret ingredient to your famous seven layer dip recipe. Oh, more like three layer cake recipe if you ask me. There's only one ingredient in that. Cake. Whatever. The point is, you forgot something, and now DoorDash can solve that problem for you without you having to race back to the grocery store. Because DoorDash is more than just your favorite restaurants. They can also do groceries. You can have drinks, snacks, and other household essentials delivered to your house in under an hour with DoorDash. Ordering is super easy, and you can have all the items delivered safely to your door when you choose the contactless free delivery option. And speaking of deliveries... The cake is here. Uh, it's more of a cupcake today. I'm watching my figure, you know? But I'll tell you one thing I'm not watching, and that's my manners, am I right? <laughs> mm. Oh, good. And for a limited time, our viewers can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when they download the DoorDash app today and use promo code JVerseB2021. That is 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app today and use promo code JVerseB2021. One more time, that is promo code JVerseB2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Link is in the description down below. I'll tell you guys what I think I got 20 25% off this cupcake in one bite. It's pretty good. Why are you wiping your face? No reason at all, Benjamin. Did you take a comically large first bite out of a cake again? <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> For the giggles. <laughs> okay. Question nine. When Harry first encountered Peeves, he was holding a bunch of what? Wait, Peeves was holding a bunch of what? <clears throat> yes. So okay. Harry was holding a bunch of what? Yeah. Peeves. <laughs> Probably. Do you um, know what Harry was holding a bunch of? I mean, it feels like it would be this. Right. <clears throat> okay. First I think, time. I think I got it. I'm trying to remember. The first or time. Or is it, oh man, or am I thinking of something else? First time. For the record, Peeves is not a ghost. That is a good point. He is a poltergeist, just As like Bilch. Filch. Oh. I don't think that there is a single Harry Potter theory that I stand by harder than Filch is a poltergeist. Has to be true. Has to be true. Okay, I'm gonna go with this because it just feels right. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. I said water balloons. I said dung bombs. Uh, my backup answer was a bundle of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. The correct answer is uh, walking sticks. Ah! Oh man. Ah! That's so frustrating. I Wait, thought... would you have said a bundle of sticks and he was holding <clears throat> a bundle of a bundle of sticks? Like, Multiple bundles. <laughs> <I> like, <laughs> no. He's got like a whole bunch he's, of wrapped yeah, up sticks. Several bundles of sticks. No, I would have thought just a single bundle. That's so funny that it was walking sticks. This is when they walk in. Because, yeah, I was like, it feels like maybe it was like a really weird thing. Why would it be a bundle of sticks? But he's like throwing them at the first years, right? When they walk in. And now for the third Patreon quiz master question. This question was submitted by Amy Melsoner and selected by patrons. Yeah. Question. How many attempts were taken on nearly headless Nick to cut off his head? I know the answer to this. As do I. Horatis? Yeah. And go! 45. 45. 45 is correct. Benjamin, there needs to be a hyphen between 40 and 5. You said 40 and the number 5. Well, so you're wrong. No. No. I'm not gonna accept that. I will I will go down fighting. I will leave. <laughs> I'm not writing checks. Yeah. This isn't a spelling quiz, thank God. Question ten. Nearly headless Nick served at the court of which English monarch? Good Nick. Wow, now we're talking difficult. We've ramped the game the game is the foot. I don't know. Three, two, one. I said King George. I said King James. I said King George, because I was like, it's like, you'll be back, Nick. Get it? Because he's a ghost. Like George? Yeah, like, you'll be back. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a Hamilton joke. It doesn't really apply to Harry Potter. <clears throat> I thought you were making like a Fred and George joke, and I was no. like, one of them doesn't come back. <laughs> Aww. That's Fred, though. Yeah, that's Fred. Fred is dead. It rhymes. Anyway, it's King Henry the Seventh. Oh wow, I was way off. I think maybe King George was next. Who's yeah. to say? Not me. I don't know much about the English monarchy. I do wonder yeah. how that Hank <clears throat> felt about Helen Hunt. Question eleven: Which Hogwarts student did nearly headless Nick's appearance save from the basilisk? Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Or do I? This is going to be nope this is wrong okay now i'm ready ready three yeah. two one justin finch fletchley justin finch fletchley that is correct yeah. question 12 in what book did we first learn that the gray lady was the ghost of ravenclaw yep mm-hmm okay you ready yeah. one two three the deathly hallows the deathly hallows the deathly hallows indeed <laughs> yeah that was like is there like a one sentence mention of this in Philosopher's Stone where they're like, oh yeah, and that one over there, that's the gray lady. She'll be important eventually. Don't worry, like really important. But we're not gonna bring her up again. But we set her up. Yeah. But yeah. no, that's we're not gonna it. we're gonna have an entire birthday party for <coughs> Nearly yeah. Headless Nick. She's not there. She's not yeah, and we're yeah, we're not we're not gonna There go is away. a group of gloomy nuns. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the final <laughs> quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Asa and selected by patrons. Question. Who did Moaning Myrtle haunt after she became a ghost? Ah. Uh, 
I got it. Teasing me about my glossies. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's a very good question, Asa. Mm -hmm. You got it? No, I don't have it. Oh, okay. You making up a name? I'm not making up a name. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Olive Hornby. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed Olive Hornby. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. I, for what it's worth, I w on multiple choice, I had that all day. All day. All day. I gotta, all I gotta, day. I gotta listen to the books again. I'm due. I'm overdue. I'm listening to the Name of the Wind again. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's very good. Question number 13. Why was the Fat Friar executed? Man. The Fat Friesabor. Let's see. Is this like canon information? Not, not, it's not gotta canon. be like Pottermore information. <clears throat> it's not in the books for sure. Man, I'll go multiple choice. We haven't done okay. it yet. Yeah. Let's do it. You wanna do it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it A, he <clears throat> stole from church funds? B, his magical ways roused suspicion? C, he was wrongly accused of killing a man? Or D, he betrayed members of the church? Yeah, I'm going with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this one. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said his magical ways rouse suspicion. I said the stolen funds thing. The correct answer is B. His magical ways roused suspicion. Yes! Man. Total guess. Got it. And Whoa. now for our 15th and final question of the quiz. Is there a question missing? A ghost? Question, perhaps? <gasps> that was clever. Yeah. So we both get a ghost point, which doesn't really count for anything, but. Question 15, select all that apply. What made Peeves different to the other Hogwarts ghosts? Is it A, he could not walk through solid walls? B, he was able to take a physical form? C, he was not associated with any Hogwarts house? D, as a poltergeist, he was not technically a ghost. Or E, he could change shape. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Okay. B, C, and D. I said B, C, and D. That is correct, B, oh. C, and D. I was so worried that C was not gonna count because there were ghosts at Hogwarts that aren't associated with houses. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because they say like a hundred ghosts swarmed the Great Hall or something. It's like, but only like four of them are associated with the houses. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But, okay. 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 So, it came together. We it did it. Did. We did it. I think I lost, but I actually feel pretty good about my showing in this particular episode. I think we both did really, I did way better than I thought I was going to do. Same. I when I heard ghosts, I was like, no. No. Please no. Boo. And now a special thank you to these patrons who support us over on Patreon. Yes, thank you so much for all of your amazing quiz master questions, which dare I say were so much better than the actual quiz questions. Oh, without a doubt. With without a doubt. Yes. I basically only take the regular quizzes at this point, pretty much so we can have the quiz master questions. I mean, the yes, that's absolutely the point. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're they're very good, especially the one from that person oh, right yeah. there. Oh yeah. Really yeah. great submission. Right, right. Really Really real. good. Look, man, I see you. I'm not mad about you winning because you're as good as it gets. You did it. <laughs> it's easy when you have the answers. Guys, as ever, thank you so much for playing along with us. Be sure to let us know in the towel section down below how you did or if you have any other questions about ghosts. Yes, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J versus Ben action from us. If you want to see a full playlist of J versus Ben, you can check out this link right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But until next time, bye! bye.